What if I told you that with a few clicks and under $500, you could have all the tools you need to make incredible barbecue? No joke, $472.50. And this is not clickbait. That brisket I just showed you was made only with the tools that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. And if you wanna buy any of these products, I will have them linked in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about the smoker. So my recommendation for a budget smoker is a Weber Premium Kettle 22 inch, which will run you about $195. So kettles are great because you get the versatility of hot silence on the set so kettles are great because you get the versatility of having a grill by cooking directly over the heat or you can also cook indirectly and use it like a smoker and you also get decent space for any type of barbecue item that you want to cook so that could be a pork butt a brisket a whole chicken a rack of ribs whatever you need and finally weber is a trusted brand i mean these things seriously last forever and coupled with the weber kettle i would recommend buying the slow and sear for about 70 dollars now this tool allows you to push the coals to one side of the cooker allowing you to do two zone cooking in your kettle and I have a much more in-depth review of the slow and sear on my YouTube channel and I'll have that linked in the description below if you want to check that out. So this is my recommendation for a beginner smoker but depending on your budget if you want to spend more money or less there are a couple more options that I want to recommend. Now for a super budget option you can also buy the original Weber kettle which is about $75 cheaper and basically it just doesn't come with an ash bucket or the hinge cooking grate. Also you can completely skip out on the slow and sear and just push all your coals to one side of the cooker and you'll get a similar effect. But on the flip side if you do have some extra money I would recommend buying a dedicated smoker and the recommendation I have is the Weber Smoky Mountain 18 inch which is about $350 okay so let's talk about knives so I only use two knives one is a $12 boning knife and the other is a $12 bread or slicing knife so the boning knife is super useful and I use it all the time during prep to open up packages of meat to debone chicken or to trim off fat off of briskets and pork butts and the slicing knife is used to slice brisket or to cut ribs so in terms of slicing knife there are two that I know of the first one being a serrated slicer and the other one being a smooth one and I believe it's called a graton or a graton graton I honestly don't know how to pronounce it so if you do know then let me know in the comment section below but in my opinion I really like the smooth slicer better because it's much easier to sharpen in fact I'm not even sure how you would sharpen a serrated knife and on that note because I use cheaper knives along with these I also use a chef pro knife sharpener that I got for about 10 bucks and that is a knife trio that I have been using for over a year and I have not needed anything else. So the next thing you'll need is a cutting board. Now I have a wooden cutting board that's on a cart that I use to slice up the meat once it's done. But because we're talking about budget barbecue, I would highly recommend buying a large white cutting board like this. So I got this cutting board for $32 and this thing is massive. It is 18 by 24 inches, which I really like because blood and juice when I'm working with raw meat never falls off this thing. Also, because it's non-porous, you can use one side for raw meat and the other side for prepared meat. Next, let's talk gloves. So the first set I'm gonna talk about is a two-part combo, which is cotton liners and nitrile gloves. So in terms of handling hot barbecue, this is the only tool you're ever gonna need. All you need to do is put on your cotton liners and then put a nitrile glove over it. This this gives you great protection from grabbing any meat off of your cooker and also gives you dexterity and flexibility to adjust and move any parts of the meat that you want on your cooker. One note on the nitrile gloves, I really like this brand because these are super heavy duty. They have not ripped on me one time. Now, I've bought cheap nitrile gloves from Target and Walmart and they just wouldn't do. They ripped so easily. And you can get a 10 pack of cotton liners for $10 and a 100 pack of nitrile gloves for $24 on Amazon. The next set of gloves I'm going to talk about are these high temp barbecue gloves. I got for about $15. Now, I did not think that this was an essential barbecue item until the day I dropped my pork butt at the bottom of my Weber Smoky Mountain. If I didn't have these gloves, I have no idea how I would have retrieved that pork butt. Just make sure not to grab flaming wood splits with these gloves because it will damage and tear these gloves. Trust me, I speak from experience. The next tool on our list is the Therm Pro Temperature Probe. Now, I've been using this thing constantly for a year now, and this thing has not let me down yet. In fact, I haven't even changed the battery in this thing yet. So I recommend this thermometer over a flip handheld thermometer like this one because it does a two for one job. So first of all, of course, you can probe your meat and see what temperature it's at, but you can also do ambient temperature because it has two probe ports. And the Therm Pro runs about $20 on Amazon. And just a note, I'm giving rough estimates on all the tools I talk about in this video because the prices do fluctuate on Amazon, but they stay around the same ballpark range. Oh my gosh, my hands are so cold. I, I gotta put these cotton liners on. So another function of the cotton liners, it also keeps your hands warm. 
Next is the spray bottle. So I got this Zep spray bottle from Home Depot for about 350, but for your convenience, I put a two pack spray bottle in the description below that runs about $7. But again, I got this at Home Depot, so feel free to just go to Home Depot and pick one up for 350. So if you don't know, this is an essential tool in keeping your meat moisturized and preventing it from drying while you're developing the bark on the outside of your meat. And this leads us to our MVP of all the barbecue tools, which is heavy duty foil. Now I kid you not, this stuff can do it all. You can use it to make makeshift gloves, line your cookers or your drip buckets. And also in my humble opinion, I prefer foil wrapping on my brisket over butcher paper. Also, let me show you this cool trick you can do. So grab your big roll of foil, Roll it up into a bowl, and bam, look at that. You got yourself a probe holder. You can stick this inside of your cooker, and now you don't even have to buy a clip for the grate. You're welcome. And that is the ultimate beginner's barbecue bundle, so go ahead and click the links in the description below, and you can be cooking in two days with free shipping if you have Amazon Prime. And you are gonna be shocked by the quality of barbecue you'll be able to make. And if you don't believe me, make sure to click the video on your screen where I cook a brisket with just these tools.